and write something on Twitter, and the next day you will get picked up and put in prison because you wrote something of 140 characters on the internet. And that is the case of Nabi Raja. He was arrested for tweeting. We cannot allow this to continue. If we want to see reforms in Bahrain, if we want to see a society where we all live together peacefully, before we can even talk about a political dialogue between the opposition and the government, we need to see a cease to the human rights violations. You cannot have a political discussion on any level if there are human rights violations being committed on the ground in the country. So the first thing we need to do is to make sure that the human rights violations stop. And then let's try to push for a political dialogue. And to end with this, I think it's very interesting that countries you know, that are supposedly supporting human rights and freedom and democracy in many other countries are supporting the oppression in Bahrain. I find that very shameful. The United States has resumed selling arms to Bahrain at a time when violations are still ongoing. The United Kingdom is selling arms to Bahrain at a time when violations are still ongoing. France is doing the same. These are countries that were criticizing Russia for selling arms to Syria. And today those countries are to Bahrain what Russia, are, what Russia is to Syria. That is not acceptable. Turkey is also selling APVs, armored personnel carrier um, vehicles, to the Bahraini government that are being used on a daily basis on the streets against unarmed protesters. That is not acceptable. And we need to bring Bahrain back to a situation where people have freedom, uh, freedom of speech, where they have freedom of expression, and where they are not afraid that if they write something of 140 characters, that they will get arrested or tortured or killed for doing so.